Hi guys, another episode of uh, The Earth is Not Flat. I know, I know, I hate to do this to you, but I keep seeing these comparisons or these explanations as to why water can't be going around the globe. And so I just feel the need to explain. So in all these instances here, you can see that they explain the fact that water finds its own level uh, no matter what the shape of the content here is you can see the water is always level and then when they s start bending a pipe if they bend the pipe in this direction or in this direction further obviously the water takes the shape down here and it's truly level here which is which is correct nothing wrong with that but then they take that same pipe and then they bend it and then the water pours out left and it pours out right and because of that they say that the earth is not round because otherwise the ocean or any type of water would flow into the direction of the its lowest spot yes that's still true but let me show you this is the earth and as discussed before in my prior video it is huge and the earth you got to think of it like this there is a solid core here obviously in the center there is a molten core but everything else is rock okay and then let's just start off with a planet that's nothing but water there's gravity everywhere gravity is equal on no matter where you are on the planet okay and so water will find its own level this is a cut out or cut through a side view uh, what do you call it a um, a sliced view of the earth okay so then you can see water level is even all the way around because gravity is equal everywhere. Water will find its own level. It doesn't matter if it's facing up, down, doesn't matter, okay? So now we're just gonna zoom in and watch what, what happens with the magic here. Uh, if I can find my zoom button. So we're zooming in, okay? And as I, as I mentioned before, the farther you zoom in, the more flat stuff looks, okay? So let's just keep that in mind. But anyways, let's just build a continent. What is What happens in Hawaii? There's volcanoes, there's lava flows, there's lava, molten rock that's being pushed up uh, over hundreds and millions of years. And this is basically how, in some cases, the continents are formed. So let's just go ahead and fill this in black. Um, sorry, I'm a bit slow here, my eyes aren't focusing. So we go black here and black here, come on. A little bit more zoom in fill this in fill that in you get the idea okay so now we have a continent here and you can see here the the water level is level on this side and it's level on this side and that's what's called sea level sea level you've got uh, the rising tide and you've got um, the lowering of the tide or what it's called uh, high tide low tide okay <laughs> sorry uh, control minus I'm sorry I'm not completely prepared here um, I always make my videos on the fly sorry uh, let me just move this around one or two and then I can center this again control plus zoom in so again the planet the earth the globe is covered by continents and these continents are at various locations various heights you can go all the way around and for the most part the globe is covered in water which everybody should know by now okay so I'm not gonna bother filling yes I guess I will sorry I'm gonna have to do this otherwise people don't understand fully so we've got continents over here fill this blue stuff in so it makes more sense okay so you've got a continent here you've got some more continents up here oh actually that's your snow peak so that's white that's snow uh, and we've got some more over here so you've got all of these different surfaces highs and lows but water still maintains to find its own level and you've got the high tide where it used to be low and low tide where it used to be high oh my god I hope this sort of explains stuff even a bit further because come on you cannot do an experiment like this on the surface of the earth in a, in a localized small area when you're talking about it 
the Earth that's over 40,000 kilometers in circumference. I think it was 40,000. If I were to zoom in on this area here, trying to find where the little person is standing with his little water bottle, I would never even be able to recreate the scale, okay? And as you can see, everything looks flat in this area and I'm nowhere near the zoom capability where a person would be recognizable. This has been an educational brief brought to you by Thomas EXOVCDS for the Flat Earthers. This is the perfect explanation. That's all you need to know that water finds its own level. If you ever watch uh, any type of science documentaries, a sphere is a most basic shape. Any object, liquid, will form a sphere as a basic shape uh, because a sphere is the most simple form that it can take. And that's why also in space everything is a sphere. You can see all the planets, they're all around in shape. As soon as, soon as you see irregular shapes, you're talking about asteroids uh, or meteors or whatever. But planets are pretty much round.